me the Zillow listing with absolutely zero context. And I am not in the business of moving to Illinois. So I'm like, hmm, that's strange. Mm. But lo and behold, I go to the listing and I'm flipping through. And what do I see? Your mama. <laughs> oh! So I start flipping through more. And I just... Are you serious? What is that? It's just my just hanging out. So now I'm invested. This one looks like he's gonna drop the hottest mixtape of 2022. Heck no. This one's actually kind of freaky, very lurky. Some of them are very obvious, but then some of them are very subtle. But this next one is my personal favorite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the we best can part see about you. this one is that if you zoom in, he also has his hands over his eyes. Girl, guess what? You canceled, okay? Wasting my time with this dang Zillow listing. I was actually looking for a house too, but you, you got me all excited for nothing. You got all these Michael Myers all up in the house, hiding behind curtains. I've never seen somebody laugh that hard. Like, girl, you screenshot it, okay? We gonna post this on every TikTok in the world. And look at this floor. This floor ain't even vacuum. That's just ghetto. All right, what, uh oh. Uh -oh. Sir, 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 uh, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. <gasps> oh! What did you just eat? A moldy grape? That was gross. <laughs> if you're just chilling underneath a bridge, minding your own business, and you see this thing, uh, it's over. Aliens are taking over, and um, I think it's, it's time to leave. Don't try to fight it, don't try to shoot it, don't try to report it, just act like you didn't even see it. Like I saw your mama? Okay. Watch me scare my neighbors oh with my the gosh. creepiest song ever. Hide and seek. Don't do it. Ding dong, I know you can hear me. Open up the door. I only want to play a little. Ding dong, you can't keep me waiting. It's already too late for you to try and run away. I see you through the window. hitting them notes. Quit stomping. Girl, I'm reporting you to the leasing office, okay? I mean, we getting you kicked out ASAP. You ain't gonna be haunting these hallways, not while I'm living there. Just singing and creeping people out. There's families in that stairwell and you're, you're freaking them out. Girl, it's not even Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, I see you got your mask on. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys. It's a chill, it's... Look at this tree. It kind of looks like it's walking away on its own. Oh. So someone sent me this video of a potential skinwalker in the woods. And what? wait till you see this next part because it's so much worse. Watch this tree right in the middle. Watch, wait for it. They're just cutting it down. Oh. Like, it looks like it's just walking away. Maybe it got tired of just sitting there. <laughs> Trees are just planted in one spot. You know, you just caught it on a bad day. It needed to stretch its roots. Or I, I don't know. That is creepy. Hopefully the video's fake. But if not, then um, we're, we're screwed, man, we're screwed. If we have walking trees, like trees that just decide to get up and move all willy-nilly, uh, then man, there ain't nothing we can do about that. But is there something we can do about your number? Uh, it needs to go in my phone. No, I'm kidding. I bet you didn't know these things that make it pretty hard to deny that aliens exist. Okay. This video suggestion came from Mojo Risen 85 They sent me a donation, then told me what they would like for me to do on a TikTok. Good for you. I'll explain how you can do the same at the end of this video. So there's this whole thing about unidentified flying objects almost colliding with aircrafts. Quite a few pilots have talked about it. One incident happened while flying into the Manchester airport. Both the pilots aboard the craft said they saw a large delta-shaped object flying directly towards the aircraft. Just as they thought they were about to collide with it, it mysteriously disappeared. What? But they both saw it. Then there's a Taylor encounter. Robert Taylor was out in the woods with his dog in 1979. He was shocked when he discovered a large spherical object that appeared to be an alien spacecraft. The craft had the ability to change colors and blend in with the environment. When he approached the craft, two spiked balls rolled towards him and got caught on his pants leg. They emitted a gas that made him pass out. When he woke up, the ship was gone and his dog was barking. When police investigated the scene, they could see an indention where something large was and couldn't identify what made the tears on his pants. Wow. The wow signal. Ohio State University picked up a frequency coming from 220 million light years away. What? Scientists are baffled where this signal came from. 
And it had to have come from advanced technology from beyond this planet. Ancient Egyptians saw aliens. There are hieroglyphs of helicopters, airplanes, even submarines. Wow. But how could people from two to 3,000 years ago know anything about that? Ancient Egyptians also talk a lot about beings from above and how these beings would give them advanced technology. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, it's crazy, dang girl. It's crazy how many nose rings you got. Jeez. One, two, three, G. That big one counts as five. But yeah, there's a lot of alien sightings out there, and uh, you know, I, I feel like the, them aliens, they're just, they're just chilling, chilling in the shadows. They don't want us to know that they're there, at least not yet. I bet you this girl's an alien. Mm-hmm. We caught you in 4K. Oh, well, another body has been found in Lake Nemo, another the one? second in a week. Didn't I say this was just the beginning? No, you didn't. To recap, Lake Mead is drying up at unprecedented rates since the area where it sits is having the worst drought in 1,200 years. And on top of that, Lake Mead is right next to Vegas, meaning for the last couple decades, it's been a dumping ground for the mob. And last week, a barrel was found washed up with a body from the 70s inside of it. Dang. There was not much left of the body that was just found, so determining the cause of death is going to be really hard on this one. But like I said in my last video about Lake Mead, this could still just be the beginning. Ain't nobody watch your last video. Oh, I, I mean, I'm just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, girl. She has nice eyebrows, I'll give you that. You got some really nice eyebrows, but yeah, that's creepy. Like, they're just dumping a bunch of bodies in Lake Mead. Is that where all the cool people dump bodies? What happened to dumping bodies underneath some land and then building a house on top of it? Whoa, so I heard. This is proof that we aren't alone. Okay, so if you look at this picture, you can instantly tell it looks exactly like a giant elephant. Most people wouldn't think anything of it, and just call it a coincidence. It's a rock. But if you didn't know, oh. there's a giant species of elephants called Natami Narita elephants. Wow. And they are massive elephants whose legs stretched all the way down to the ocean floor. They also have a very long lifespan, which is around 1,000 years. So what do you think this could be? A giant elephant frozen in time, or just a coincidence? I think it's just a dang coincidence, man. It's, it's just a rock that has a hole in it, so it kind of looks like an elephant. I mean, I guess it could be an elephant, but I, we'll, we'll never know. But I swear, if that thing just up and started moving, ooh, we're screwed, baby, we're screwed. Winnie the Pooh has entered the public domain, and now it's everyone's problem. Uh -oh. Over the past few days, you may have heard news articles talking about the new horror movie coming out titled Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. What? Yes, this is completely real. Let's talk about what the movie is actually going to be focusing on. The basic premise of the story is that Christopher Robin has gone off to college <laughs> and has left of all of the creatures of the Hundred Acre Wood behind. Which means, according to the story, no one is feeding these creatures anymore. Which leads to all of them becoming feral and they eventually turn on each other and start to devour each other. They specifically mentioned that Winnie the Pooh himself and Piglet turn on Eeyore They're and driving? They devour Eeyore. And that's like the very beginning of the movie. The rest of the story focuses on Winnie the Pooh and Piglet devouring other people in the town as an act of feral revenge for Christopher Robin just abandoning them. I'm not gonna lie, I love this idea. Some people really hate the idea of like an innocent children's thing turned into a horror movie. I love it. The masks look super cool. Tigger won't be in the movie because he's still not in the public domain. Thanks, Jiggy Saw Girl. Appreciate the info. You're telling me Winnie the Pooh and Piglet turned into criminals? All because Christopher Robin wanted to get a higher education? I I'm sorry. Sorry that I'm trying to do something with my life. I'm trying to get a higher level of learning. Winnie the Pooh and Piglet are just selfish. Y'all were finding food on your own just fine in the show. Winnie the Pooh was getting all the honey. But I guess that honey wasn't enough. Ah! Was that real? Bro, lightning coming from the ground, are you kidding me? I don't know where you guys live. What, where, y'all in Kansas? Wherever you are, uh, you might wanna move. It's time to go. You got lightning coming from the dang dirt. It's a sign, or somebody's trying to create Frankenstein or something. Some evil villain, man, is doing something. They're taking all the power. Would you dive into this tiny cave? No. It's always white people investigating. Uh-oh. Well, at least I get to watch from the safety of my home. Ooh, she's going all the way in. Okay. I mean, that looks cool, and it's all fun and games until a shark bites your face off. Gee, girl. Don't do it. 
She's already doing it, so it's too late. Can't stop. Can't stop. And go back to the surface. Ah! How long can y'all hold your breath? Jeez. She's holding her breath for like two minutes. Good for you, girl. Congratulations on exploring, uh, nothing. Did you find Nemo? I mean, let us know. Come on, come on, we've been waiting. Board games as horror movies. All right, uh, let's see what we got, man. Don't Wake Daddy, oh, I remember that game. <gasps> don't Wake Daddy, yeah, yeah, don't, just. Hungry, hungry hippos, yeah, yeah. Hungry, hungry hippos. Shoots and ladders. You guys remember that game? Oh my god. Why is there blood on the slide? That's nasty. Dang, that is one shoot you don't want to go down. That's just not sanitary. I mean, come on, somebody like clean that off, man. Where's the janitor at? We need somebody to clean this off, okay? Hey, look at the hands. The hands just reaching. What, what are y'all doing? Climb the ladder and then you go up the chute or go down the chute. Definitely ain't playing that game. It's you again, Jiggy Saw girl? Girl, if I see you one more time, I'm gonna take your glasses. I'm just kidding. Happening, everyone stay calm. Somebody has made a fully functioning replica of the reverse bear trap. Oh, no, and they they're just selling it on eBay for a thousand or so dollars. The creator has even posted a few videos on TikTok of it actually working, and it looks what? really cool. A lot of y'all have been tagging me asking if I'm gonna buy it. And the answer is, no. I don't start my real big girl job for a few months, so unless it's still there in like four or five months, I'm probably not gonna be the one to get it. But it is truly a very unique prop to How's have. How's it work? And like I said, it is actually spring trap activated, so the mouth actually opens rapidly. So you cannot wear this. You should not put this on your head. I just hope it goes to a good home for somebody who actually really loves the movie. Yeah, no, no, I think I'm good, man. We don't need that. that that's disgusting. What am I gonna do with that? What, what, am I gonna put it on my shelf? Have it as a dang Halloween decoration? Girl, get up on that. Here. Looks too human. Yeah, why are you standing? Don't mess with that dog. You're supposed to be doggy paddling. You're not supposed to be standing like a dang human. I don't know if that's somebody's pet or if you just randomly found that dog in the middle of the swamp. Either way, man, it's time to skedaddle, skafreakin' daddle. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.